So will there be any consequences for filing or turning in recall documents with fake names? WDSU's Travers Mackle picks up our team coverage in the CBD with a former federal prosecutor, Travers. All right, here in the CBD, joined by Sean Toomey, former federal prosecutor, current defense lawyer. You know all the facts. Is it possibly a crime when somebody falsifies a document, like a public document like this? Yeah, you can take a pick from a number of crimes, state or federal. Uh, on the state level, we got a statute right on point, Title 18, Section 1461, explicitly makes it a crime to put a, a fictitious or fraudulent name on an election document. And as far as the feds go, Anytime you use a cell phone and email uh, to, to perpetuate such a, a fraud, you're looking at wire fraud. You were a prosecutor. Is this something the, the prosecutors could or should look into? Look, anytime you're dealing with politicians, you know, the federal government, the U.S. Attorney's Office is going to take a hard look at it. The issue here, from my perspective, is, you know, the chain of evidence. And, and, and specifically, look, when these boxes were dropped off at the register, they were in banker boxes. And I think I saw some reporting maybe from you that when they were held there, they weren't under lock and key. Right. And so who knows what happened to those? And they'll have a good defense that where, however, those, 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 you know, Fred Flintstone names got in there. Well, it wasn't the people who dropped them off. All right. He's Sean Toomey, former federal prosecutor. Let's send it back to you in the studio.